We're the Indie Project, B and Theo, and we've been living and travelling the world in vans for the past six years. We're currently renovating an abandoned stone barn in Portugal to turn into a beautiful tiny home for us and our cats, Gingy Bear and Fernando. Follow our journey from the very beginning as we document the whole process of creating an off-grid home. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video here from our off-grid property in central Portugal. The light is gorgeous this morning, we can't wait to get started, it's really early and we're just raring to go because something very monumental is going to happen in the process of the whole barn conversion this morning. So last night we got sprung upon us that the guy who has built the door can come around and fit it today. It was a little bit of a shock because we're not ready. All of our tools are everywhere. We don't know whether we've got the right tools here, ready to go to get this big metal frame out of the stonework. What they do is they bed it in really strong concrete into the wall. So they're usually generally quite hard to get, to get out. I'm gonna try my best. The first thing I need to do is get this door off. We've got an hour, haven't we? We've got an hour to do this. I know everyone loves this door. Unfortunately, it's gonna to have to go, but we are gonna repurpose it. The first thing I need to do is get the pins out. There's some pins that go in the hinges, and once you pop them out, I believe that the door should come off. We'll be left just with the frame, and then we can work out how to get the frame off. got two pins out of the door as you can see the doors wobbling all over the place now so we need to support that obviously the last pin is really stubborn looks like it's got loads of paint around it it looks like it's well and truly jammed in there and I can't really get the hammer underneath there very easily so I'm trying to come up with a solution but I'm sure we get through it <laughs> bottom pin definitely needed some persuasion <laughs> this door is heavy ah. there we go i don't think it's gonna actually fit out oh, i think it needs to come out lying down it's massive <laughs> just keep it in the bathroom it's Make a beautiful a door table, though isn't it? it it's just beautiful let us know in the comments what you think we should do with this door because it will be nice and decorative for something, I'm sure. can see how massive this door is it's really cool because we've never seen the view that we're gonna have sitting on the sofa looking out and I just went and kind of perched down like that pretending I was on the sofa and looked out and it's just just green trees and just beauty it's just it's gonna be so nice and inspiring just sitting on the sofa even though I'm probably not gonna spend much time actually sitting on the sofa in the near future because I've got so much other stuff to do but I managed to get the whole frame out which is ace. There's a few little metal bits that need to come out. So there's a bit where the actual mechanism uh, latch was on the door. I need to angle grind that off because it's so deeply embedded in the wall. And then there's a few, there's a few little bits that I need to angle grind back flat. But I use the leverage. 
of the big uh, pole that I've got, the big metal pole. And that did amazing things. It literally just pulled it out the, out the wall. So I wish I'd done that from the start. But yeah, better get going because the guy's going to turn up any minute. So the guys have just arrived and are drilling some holes in the floor, but guys, look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, this is exactly what we wanted. It matches the veranda so nicely and the wood is mahogany. Look at that glass. Really nice and thick. So well made, the joints are beautiful. Oh yes, this is going to look amazing against the stone. I can't believe it, we've only been here just under a week and we have our door. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Squarespace who has sponsored today's video. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it's a brilliant online platform where you can build and design your very own professional looking website. We've been using Squarespace now for the last four years and we love how it made what we thought was gonna be an incredibly daunting process of building our own website really easy and intuitive. There's tons of different features and themes to choose from that are all fully customizable. There is even a logo creator to help you stand out while building your own business or personal brand. We have our shop on there where we sell our merchandise as well as our ebook. We also have a monthly newsletter that we send out as well as our podcast. So if you'd like to try out Squarespace and build your very own professional looking website, then click the link in our description or go to squarespace.com forward slash indie projects and get a 14 day free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. To say me and B are stoked is an understatement. Our front door is now fitted. The guys did an amazing job building and fitting this door. I think you agree it's like a proper statement and that's exactly what we wanted when we were drawing up the ideas for it and we were giving reference photos of what we wanted. We wanted a hardwood door that matched all of the other wood. So we got chestnut. This is mahogany. It's double glazed. It's exactly what we wanted. We were so nervous when the truck pulled up and we both kind of like let out a sigh of relief when we saw the door and the truck and we were like, oh, it looks nice. And it really does fit perfectly with the stone, this kind of darker wood just matches so nicely. It's a bit nerve wracking because, you know, you're spending a lot of money on a door, but it's just well worth it. And it has changed the game from the inside. You go inside now and the place is flooded with light. It just, you've got a view out over the land. All you can see is just greenery and trees. B was just in there before we had to shut it and close it to let it dry. And you were basically like screaming, weren't you? <laughs> With happiness, not, not, not yeah. shock. <laughs> she was so stoked and we were kind of like perching down where our sofa's gonna be and seeing what the view's gonna be from different angles. I'm excited. To only have been here for a week and we've already got the front door fitted, this really is a monumental step into moving into our dream home.
so now the barn door is completely finished we can move on to the next task which is getting the outhouse sorted because when you come back to your land after you've left it for a little while there's always these things that you need to do to get up and running again especially when you live off grid so we're going to clean out the outhouse and get the shower working once again because as nice as it is going to the lake every single day for a shower we're going to be working really hard on the barn day in day out and we want to we want to have somewhere that we can go have a nice warm shower at the end of the day to clean off so we have to proceed with caution with the outhouse because there was a massive wasp's nest that was nesting in the letterbox and I can see Fernando's come to join us but there's some huge spiders in there as well which is pretty terrifying and we need to get this cleaned out so we can use it. I'm currently standing in what would be my worst nightmare so this is a really good day for me. <laughs> right now uh, the way the cabin is there's no way I could be naked in the shower because there's like some really big um, like spider sacks that I, I know because I've seen them spiders go and grow bigger in them. And what's, a, what's, what's this? That's what the sack looks like <laughs> I can see. And I've spotted about five sacks and some of them are empty so I know they're on the roam but I'm sorry, but you're, you're talking about naked in the shower and sacks. I'm talking sizes. about spider sacks. Okay, okay let's not go. <laughs> anyway, I'm not scared of the wispy spider webs that you can see. Uh, they're fine. It's just the monster tarantulas that. Okay, I'm joking. There's no tarantulas in Portugal. Anyway, when all, we left. All the Australians are upset right now. I know, now. they're like, that's, that's not a spider. It is to me. Agrophobia is real. Anyway, um, these crates, we got them last year. Oh no, it was this year. This, year. Um, this is a long year. They're going to be going in the barn, but we needed to store them whilst we were away. So they're all in here right now, which obviously blocks the toilet. So we're going to take them out and then give this a deep clean so we can start using the toilet again and the shower. I don't know if you can see this on the mirror, but this is the kind of thing we're trying to eliminate. All of this spider's webs. I'm going to do it with my hand, but B says she's got a big stick to fight them off with. <laughs> this spider's had a whale of a time. There's webs everywhere and the spider's still there in its web, hanging out, looking for some flies. And then we have this absolute mess on the windowsill. Everything's just covered in flies and webs. And this is the kind of thing that bee's scared of. It's these sacks right here and once you move the sack you can see that there's a spider behind there and it will just dive at you and hunt you down and run kilometers So it's just turned into a much bigger cleanup job which is a little bit annoying because there's rat droppings everywhere. Obviously a rat or a family of rats have made this their home throughout the whole summer because we've not been using it at all and I don't know if you guys remember but I evicted a rat out of the barn and I think it's now getting its own back and has moved into here and because it's been dormant over the summer for months and months because we haven't needed to use the shower in here because we shower in a cold shower down by the pool at the bottom of the land it's had free reign. After moving all the crates out you can now see it's not damage but it's like destruction. <laughs> There's rat droppings everywhere, look at the floor it's an absolute state so this all needs cleaning up Make sure we put gloves and a mask on for this. 
I just remembered that before we left, like a couple of months before we left, we bought a heavy duty vacuum cleaner. So we're gonna use that to get rid of all the rat poo and anything that is lurking inside the cabin. Here it is over here. This thing is gonna work wonders at getting this bathroom spick and span. We have just finished cleaning out the outhouse and although I say it myself, me and B absolutely smashed it. It's super clean inside and it's actually somewhere that I want to defecate now. <laughs> I've got this IBC. This is the IBC that supplied the shower but because it wasn't covered, the water's gone manky since we left it unattended for a couple of months. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this IBC out. We're gonna put this on the back of the truck and this is gonna be our moving water tank where we can move this all around the land on the back of the truck and fill other tanks so we have water supply in different parts of the area they're big old things so we've got to get this on the back of the truck now and head down to the well <laughs> city the other day we picked up a new tool that is really going to help us this is the Honda WX10 I think it is and I read good reviews about it super small it only weighs 6.5 kilos no kilograms and it means that we can transport it all around the land we have another Honda generator and it's absolutely amazing and it just keeps on going keeps on working and that one's really quiet as well. We used to use that before we had solar in the van. But this thing, the thinking behind it is at the moment, we can't put in a full system for the house to pump directly for the well because there's lots of infrastructure that needs to happen that can't happen right now. So we need water right now. We need water up at the caravan. We need it at the outhouse. So what this allows us to do is pump water it will probably pump if I got a long enough hose all the way up to the uh, up to the barn, up to the caravan, I would imagine. But that's something I need to test. At the moment, I've got 25 meters of hose pipe and I'm gonna suck the water out the well, pump up the IBC on the back of the truck and then drive the truck to the other IBC and pump it back out. And it shouldn't take too long because this can pump quite a bit of uh, water out pretty quickly so 120 liters a minute 120 liters a minute apparently so we're gonna we're gonna put that to the test and see how this works i've literally not ever fired it up or anything so let's give it a go so i've already primed the hose pipe going into the well and i'm going to open this up and prime the actual pump priming is basically you just you're filling the pump with water because you don't want to suck air you want to suck water if you suck air it can damage the pump i'm just going to pour that in there 
till it's all the way to the top. There we go. Primed and ready to go. We got the pump working after a little bit of trial and error. I didn't fill the IBC all the way, just 500 litres, so halfway. <laughs> and now we're actually going to see if the truck will drive up. I didn't want to fill it to the top because I just feel like that's sketchy. We and don't want to destroy the new engine. <laughs> we've just got the truck back and the last thing I want to do is blow out the spring. So I need to do a bit of research, but I'm pretty sure we can take a ton in the back of here. So 500 litres, half a ton maybe gradually each one I do I'll go a little bit more and see what happens but we need to go up level out the IBC and then we can pump from there and then we can finally have shower water go on then I'm desperate for a shower <laughs> that golden light I love it right now we need to level this basically this pallet is no good because once it's got a thousand liters of water in it it just snapped in the middle so we're gonna use blocks completely right so now we have the pump same situation but we're pumping out of the tank I've got the little Honda pump here which is it really is amazing the fact that you can just carry it around the land anywhere you want and you could actually use this as like to water your garden or maybe to get pressure for a uh, like a pressure sprayer pressure washer oh, that's good. so a very good piece <laughs> of kit i'm going to start it right now and get this filled up because it's getting dark turn it on make sure the choke's on give it a bit of fuel So last night we actually ran out of daylight which is a little bit frustrating because I wanted to get everything completed because I was a sweaty mess and really wanted to shower but I learned so much about the whole process yesterday and there's some new things that I want to implement into the system to make it a little bit smoother. So the system worked really well there's just a few things that I can do to speed things up as you know I was using this this is predominantly used in the well, so no big particles can come through the pump. But what I was doing is I was putting this down into the IBC and it just wants to lift up as the tank gets lower and then you can end up sucking air. So it needs one person to hold this and then another person to hold it the other end. So that's not ideal because I wanna be able to use this system on my own. So I'm gonna to go to the city and I'm gonna buy an adapter where I can fit this hose, the intake hose that goes on to the water pump, just like that. So I'm getting the water from the bottom. It means that I can suck every little last bit of water out of this tank. And I also have a spare one of these um, hose pipes. I'm also gonna get another one of these. So I've got a completely different hose pipe and I can switch them over within seconds. And this is what it's like living on an off-grid property. There's always gonna be challenges. There's always gonna be things that you need to overcome and every day is a learning day. And if I can make my life a little bit easier moving water around the property, then I will. So I'm looking forward to going to the city and picking up 
them new little adapters to make my life easier. The second thing is the hose pipe. It's 25 meters long and I wanna get more of it because I know that I can get to certain parts of the property without having to put the IBC on the back of the truck and just pump it straight from the well to another tank where I need it. So I'm definitely gonna do that. But this 25 meter hose pipe, I need to put on some sort of reel so I can reel it back in, keep it tidy and move it around a lot faster. been a long few sweaty days where I've dreamed about having a shower on the evening. We've just primed the pump, I've connected the gas, all I've got to do is click the switch on a 12 volt battery and hopefully I'm going to have a lovely warm shower. This is an absolute dream, I am loving it. I'm going to spend a good 15 minutes in here and I tell you what, we have the best view ever from this shower. And that is why I created these windows. And you might not get your chance to come in here because I'm not leaving. <laughs> now that shower was absolutely perfect. And I think me and B have achieved a lot over the last, well, week, but also in this video, the last day and a half, we've managed to figure out our water system. We had the front door finished, which has just changed the game completely. And now we have somewhere to poo and shower in peace which is which is a, a basic human need really and it's nice to have it back it means that we feel a little bit more normal living on the land things are a little bit easier which makes us be able to move forward with working on the inside of the barn which is what we really want to do but we had to get these things set up first before we could do that so i hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one